The older generation of photographers was maybe a bit confused at first because they're like, why would you do film again? We're already done with that. Photo lab in the past were something that photographers would kind of all meet at and be able to congregate. It would be like a, a sort of a third space, you know, in between like work and home where you could kind of meet with other creatives and bounce ideas off of each other. But our city had, hasn't had a place where you could get this done for a long time. It's always been in my mind that I wanted to have, have that here and just, but getting there just seemed so impossible for the longest time. It just seemed like such an insane thing to say that I was going to start a, a film lab, you know, a business that hadn't, <laughs> that everybody else had given up on because it was too difficult. So I think film is here to stay. I, I think it's going to stay because it's just fundamentally different from the other ways that you can capture the world around you, I suppose. You know, it's a physical medium, so it, it has this permanence that, you know, digital doesn't really seem to. It really died off, you know, about 10 years ago. I think a lot of what we've ended up doing is just trying to help people figure out how to get back into it and try to adapt it to kind of the more modern life. We're gonna feed this into the machine. And so we scan everything directly onto a digital format so that people can share it with their friends and then also give them their negatives back for long-term storage. We also offer prints. We also offer film camera sales and service so we can fix up old cameras that you bring in or sell you uh, one of ours that has been restored and is ready to go. Another big thing that we do is we do film archiving, which means people can bring in their old negatives and slides and prints and we can digitize them so that they can share them with their friends and family and save them for future generations. So we'll just go ahead and put her roll with her film that's getting picked up. A lot of younger people are, for whatever the reason, deciding that they want to document their lives more or less like their parents did, um, instead of necessarily using their phones, using a, using a film camera, so that they can basically disconnect a little bit more from the, the social media hustle and communicate something a little bit different than what a digital does, and it's, you know, it's got that physicality to it. So basically with a digital camera, obviously you can take as many pictures as you want, but the fact that you can take as many pictures as you want makes each photo less valuable. There's not a commitment to each photo that you would have like we would have with film. So film forces you to commit to the value of each image that you make. One thing that we've been kind of doing is just sort of rebuilding a lot of that lost community and letting everybody have a place where they can come and learn how to do this craft in a more thoughtful and effective way. And we now are able to really expand into proper photography business to much more thoroughly support the local photography community that wants to shoot analog and wants to enjoy this medium. I didn't think that we would be able to have this come back in such a way where we could have a space like this where it would be self-sustaining after only a couple months of doing it, almost immediately successful, and the response was just overwhelming. And so we've been able to grow in a really amazing way, and I'm just so thankful that the community has kind of come around us in that way.